trying to defeat the master of mono freaking black with mono black did you really think you could even step a foot into my house let alone my garden man you can't even see my dog house man nothing mono black is my turf get out of here brothers and sisters and welcome to MTG Malone with me Matt Malone dude you're looking exactly like that come on let's not do this spiel anymore we're not doing it today maybe another day but not today because you all know that I'm here from the past okay I did it I could not do it all right so yeah Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I am enjoying myself very much today. I don't know why. I had a lot of fun with yesterday's deck. And I'm still doing another one that was also extremely fun. Even though I should be ashamed of myself for playing it. So enough with the yammering. Let's get into the Obscura Aggro Hammering. Oh baby, this deck is so freaking fun and I love it man. Like the good thing about this deck is that it just slams other aggro decks so well, so well. So if you're up against another aggro deck, you're going to have an amazing freaking time. So in the core, we're just a very degenerate freaking mono white deck. We have the Awful Nation 8 Luminarch Aspirant, you know, to pump ourselves up. We have the Sun Gold Sentinel, because this is just such a good aggro card. You uh, use the Coven ability of this, you get in there for free, you know that is 3 damage every single turn and 3 damage that stacks up very darn good. We have 3 Talias in this beautiful beautiful like I don't know Batman kind of style art style that I really love. We do have the Brutal Cathar because it's just you know my favorite werewolf ever. We have the Elite Spybinder that thank goodness, thank goodness, nothing against Paolo Vito Damo de la Rosa but dude, I hate this card so much. We have the Adeline. Uh, and this beautiful, beautiful art style where I thought she had a crab on her arm, but it's actually like a phoenix or something, or a swan or something like that. So yeah, very tasty. And of course, the wandering freaking emperor in this beautiful Japanese anime waifu art style. All of them are pretty darn tasty already, but we brought in some more flavor because today I am the mayor of Flavor Town, not the master of Mono Black. Oh no, I'm not. Oh no, I'm not. We have the Obscura Interceptor. This card, oh my lord, has wrecked me so many times already. So many freaking times because nobody expects it. No one freaking expects it. They're like, dude, I can finally play my board wipe. I have enough mana for my Midog Masker, and uh, even though the Talia is down, I just have enough M. Obscura Interceptor. Where it enters the battlefield, it connives. And when it connives, you return up to one target spell to its owner's hand. This way. If it connives in any other way, you don't do it. But in this way, you freaking return the freaking Midog Masker to the hand. Now you have a 4-2 if you had something to connive away. Now your hopeful initiate will grow even stronger. Maybe your Adeline will be one tougher. And that is just everything we want it to be. We have to refine in this kind of eyes are kind of a beamer kind of thing. I don't know what it is. But it looks like it's like a cinema, you know? Just getting it out there. When it attacks, target creature connives. You know the shebang, you know it. And it has word 1. And that is just super good. So if you have your Adeline out and you're refined, make sure that the Adeline is on top of the stack. And the refine triggers first. Uh, the, the, the Adeline will trigger first. The refine will trigger afterwards. There will be one more creature on the battlefield. You get to see one more card. What else do you want, my friend? Nothing, I tell you. But what is the secret sauce in here? Well, we have some secret sauces. We have the Liza. Also this beautiful, beautiful black and white art style. This card is so freaking amazing in like kind of whatever aggro matchup you're up against because if they get rid of your creatures and they're like, yeah, I finally got rid of the creatures, you get them all back because this will return them to your hand. If you destroy one of their creatures, it's gone for good. So if you block like, I don't know, uh, you know, the boxer, left, right, B, sting like a bee, uh, you, you will get, they will get exiled. Amazing. Freaking amazing! What else do you want? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. There we have the Maidog Masker once. Only once. I could not fit a second one in here. 
But we have it. We have the freaking Medoc Massacre. So even if we play this for a zero, just put it on the battlefield. Now every time that we attack in with, I don't know, our elite spellbinder, I cannot block it because it's flying or whatever. Now when we get a little human, they block it with their thing. The Medoc Massacre will make them lose one life. So that is very darn freaking tasty. And I love it. So yeah, the deck is pretty darn fun. If you can't get them with your creatures, you can't get them with your lands because we have two Cave of the Frost Dragon. Then we also have one Eganja, one Otawara, and one beautiful Hive of the Eye Tyrant. The rest is just the plains, some beaches, some pathways, some sanctums and march, and of course one Refined Tower, because what would a Refined Deck be without its tower? So yeah, here it is. This deck is indeed called Get Out of Here Me, because it is just so darn delicious. We will try our darndest to get into the big diamond today. Our freaking darndest. Plays will be fast, plays will be long, who knows? Can we do it? There's only one way to find out. Stick through and see with it to the freaking end. Also, now that I have your attention, you're very close to the 14,000. Like not even 200 people away. Not even 200 people! And that is just so freaking amazing to me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone that has subscribed in the last few days. It is super awesome of you. And yes, yeah, I'm recording these in advance. Maybe you already hit it. I don't know. I don't think so. But if we did, even freaking better. You never know what happens. You never know what will happen. And you never know what will not happen. Because we are not a scheming freaking seer. This is Get Out of Here Malone. Get out of here, and I will see you in those aggressive games! Do I feel freaking dirty already? I do! Oh, Kvalo! I don't know what that means in English, like a, um, stingfish, I think it is. We're going first. Well, I kinda like it, even though we have a lot of Helens here, but I still kinda like it. Because of the double Luminarch and the Brutal Cathar, so whatever we're up against, we do have a little chance, you know? A small insignificant freaking chance. Yeah, look at my land. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Alrighty. I like it. I really do. But they got rid of the spike field hazard here. That is really darn good. Us drawing more lands here ain't really darn good. I have to say, I do not appreciate that one freaking bit. Not in the slightest. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Do you have the thing? Do you have it, my friend? It doesn't look like you do. Okay. We're bringing down the hopeful initiate here as well. If they counter that, that is alright. Fading hope. More Roddy. More freaking Roddy. So they're being very, very good here already with their things. I do not like that too much. And uh, yeah. But uh, next turn, we can still bring down two Luminarch Aspirants. That is also pretty darn good, if I say so myself. And I do say so myself. Oh my, okay, maybe we are. Maybe now we're just, oh my lord, more land. Even more land. Yeah, normal. You know, just freaking normal. Nothing to see here. Just nothing to see here. <laughs> just six lands, you know. We started off with four. We drew what? The, what did we even draw? The hopeful initiate. Oh my lord. So yeah. Not looking too good. Oh my, they got rid of two unexpected windfalls here. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. If they're not doing anything here, I would love that. I would actually freaking love that. They aren't doing anything here. Freaking perfection. Let's have a look at their little hand. What is your little tiny hand doing here, my friend? What is it doing? What is your game plan? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, that, that is super bad, man. And we're getting with a gold span dragon here. That is like the one thing I don't want him to have. And, uh, and we're just attacking in. Do they really want to get rid of my hopeful initiate here, so be it, you know? So freaking be it. I wouldn't care, couldn't care less. I don't want to care less. So they had three unexpected windfalls. Ain't that amazing? <laughs> Ain't that freaking amazing. So, should we tickle their, uh, make disappear out of their hand? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think we will just keep on going ham. Oh, oh, it's jellyfish. 
It's jellyfish. Oh my lord, really? Really? Okay, well, in that case, you know, let's go ahead and do this. They don't have another one. And we do have... Oh, they found a land. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful. For a damage. We found also a land. Okay, game. Okay, I got you. Nothing wrong with any of this. <laughs> nothing at all. You know, just nothing at all. Everything is fine. Everything is freaking fine. So we will be slamming in there. We will see if they even block. I mean, what are they supposed to do here, you know? It's a reflection of Kikajiki. We can just destroy it afterwards. And we might do it right away, question mark. No, we're not. We're chilling. We're chilling. Now they have found to burn down the house. Well, I mean, that's just Scam City all day long, you know. If they really found it, Scam City all day long. Why am I saying it? Because we are on freaking seven lands and 12 cards. Seven lands and 12 cards. That is just what it is, you know. The galvanic iteration. Okay. If they found another the one of those... I know what it is. It's a deal to damage to all creatures. It's a big score. That is four big scores. Nothing wrong here. Nothing freaking wrong here. Okay. Okay. But in that case, let's get rid of this. They cannot have it. You know? They just cannot have it. I don't allow it. I do not allow it. Oh well, they can just protect myself. <laughs> Did you find the burned down house, my friend? Did you find it? Did you find it? And through 20 of your cards with four big scores, you know. So, yeah. We have found more lands still and then have found big scores. More lands than they have found big scores. Think about that, my friends. When next time you think that the shuffler ain't like doing shenanigans sometimes. Think about that. I want you to freaking think about it. Okay. That is a meowsing, I have to say. That is pretty darn a meowsing. Okay, what else have you gotten here, my friend? What else have you freaking gotten here? Is it going to be good? Is it going to be glorious? Fading hope on our hopeful initiate? A dragon's fire? And a dra gold span dragon in hand? Is that the thing that is happening now? Well, we'll have to find out all together now, don't we? What you got here? What you freaking got here, my friend? What is it? All right, I like it. I really do. I have to say, I have to say, it's our last chance. If we can do it here, we won. If we can't do it here, oh, we got him, baby. We freaking got. Get out of here, jellyfish. Four of the draw card, man. Four of them, and we have found what? Freaking seven lands in thirteen card. Get freaking. I'm out of here. This was such a weird match, man. Oh, in zero. You're already in diamond tier one. Will we be your gatekeeper? We don't know, but we will find out all together now, don't we? I like this hand. I do. It is a weird one, but I do like it. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. Okay, it's a night witch. All right. Okay, it starts again, you know, with the <laughs> only lens. It just starts all over again, man. Please don't do this game. Please don't. Just don't. The horror, man. The freaking horror, man. Okay, we go with the Adeline here. If they do have a removal, so be it, you know. If they don't, we kind of happy about it. What you got here, my friend? Okay. Deadly dispute. That is fine by me. Hey, absolutely fine by me. We do have the two Obscura Interceptors. Two of them. But I don't have a blue source. I screwed myself. I screwed myself today. I don't have a blue source. I should have played this one. I haven't done it though. Ah, 
How am I doing this? Let's do it like this. And if they block something, they will pay for it dearly. Freaking dearly. Okay. Alright, I like it. I really do. Getting rid of two of those. Still slamming in there. Still being strong. You know, I like it. I really do. So I screwed myself with the Obscura Interceptor, I have to say. That was pretty darn bad. I should have played the other land as a white source, but now I could have played the Middle Massacre. That is also pretty darn amazing, you know? They can never again play their Tenacious Underdog. Never again! And maybe, who knows, there will be a day where we find a freaking blue source once again. There might. And we also have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant slamming in there like there is no tomorrow. Well, there is a blue source now. A meowsing. Just freaking a meowsing. They will never do anything ever freaking again. The hero's downfall. Oh no, you don't. But ain't that Pichadori. <laughs> ain't that freaking Pichadori. Okay, I mean, hey, once more. If they do have thanks, that is alright for me. Could go with the Lothier. Okay, interesting. Pretty darn interesting. I will show you what a gift in exchange for loyalty. I mean, you know, the thing is, we're still losing a lot of life here, so let's just slam freaking in there. Okay. Alrighty. We're still losing life. I'm still getting life. So, yeah. I'm all good with that. Bring down the IFDI the tyrant here. Chilling now. I still have things to do. You know, if they're going with their own meat of massacre or whatever here, I'm kind of fine. Kind of freaking fine. Ain't gonna freaking happen, my friend. Ain't gonna freaking scoop. Trying to defeat the master. Of mono freaking black with mono black did you really think you could even step a foot in my house let alone my garden man you can't even see my dog house man nothing mono black is my turf get out of here this was so dirty we're up against Kim Ken dirty I like it look at the mad lad we're going first I love it. I really freaking do love it. So, we uh, will be smirked this time with our blue source. Oh, we do have a blue source now. So that's all that matters. That is all that freaking matters. Uh, bring down the Sun Gold Sentinel. No matter what they have, we do have the Adeline and this beautiful, beautiful art style. Is that a crab on her arm? No, it's not. It's not a crab. Okay. <laughs> it sure looks like a crab, I have to say. So is there a uh, is there a shambly boy? It's a Valky. Oh my. Okay. I do not mind that too much, to be honest. I do not. They might turn into an Adeline themselves. No, they're bringing down the brutal Cathar. Okay. That is absolutely a okay with me. I really, really don't mind at all. But you know what I do like? Getting in there with the elite spellbinder, making sure that they can't do anything afterwards. Just you know, slamming in there. Oh my lord. Yeah, I think it's going to be the Invoke Despair here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And we are attacking in. Like, if they want to give me back my Brutal Cathar, that is fine by me. You know, there's nothing wrong with any of that. They want to give me back my Brutal Cathar. Ain't that amazing? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like it. I really do. So, it can now, uh, this is, yeah, a little slow, you know, just a little bit slow. I think we're looking pretty A-OK -okay here. I just want to put that out there, you know, we're looking pretty A-OK. -okay. The Refine. Well, let's bring down the Adeline here first. Get in there with the Elite Spellbinder. I know, yeah, they will block that. That is, like, expected. They don't really have removal right now, and we do have the refine, so hey, everything is refined with me, you know? We can just get rid of their stuff. 
And I like getting rid of their stuff. I really do. So, uh, this cannot block, right? Or it cannot attack? No, it cannot block. So that is pretty good. <laughs> I have to say, our refine can wait one turn. We will be getting rid of the tenacious underdog here. Oh, I'm sorry, my friend. But your topiary stomper isn't able to do anything here. Just nothing, I tell you. The last card now is a meat of freaking massacre. I'm going to be a little bit disappointed. I have to say. I have to say. But I think that we have a S-C-O-O-P in common. Yes, you heard that right. A skill, my friends. A skill. It will be so darn delicious. Oh, we now even have the eye gun. I mean, what are they even supposed to do? <laughs> Get a skill, baby. I even, like, spelled it out for you, man. Like you took the spoon and you just scooped, baby. You just scooped with the spoon. These games are going way too well. These games are going way too well. Oh no, here she is. My eyes are up here, Professor. A boat is going first. We have a Talia for the first time. That is cool. I like it. We do have the Interceptor, but no blue source, and our opponent's going first, I do not like that as well. But, but, and that's a big but, we do have two colors already, and I like that a lot. So we can go hopeful into Talia. Our opponent is full on Professor Onyx colors here, I like it, I really do. We found another white source, that is extraordinarily good. Are you Mill? Are you Mill? Why did you play a blue source here? Why did you do that? Why? Okay, we are attacking in first. Let us see what they're doing. We have an Italia also in that beautiful, beautiful art style that I bought just for today. Dear Demir. Do not like that too much, but there's not too much I can do about it either. Tainted. Oh, you're a reanimator deck. You're a reanimator deck. It's the reanimator. So I think that uh, we will just, you know, keep on tallying. Okay, I know what you are. You're the CGB Witness the Future deck. That is what you are. Okay. So we are attacking in here first. Let us see what they're doing, you know. We also found our blue source, which is extraordinarily good. Because if they destroy my Talia here, I can just, you know, play it again. You don't, okay. You just don't. So there is no reason for us to do anything here. Another tainted indulgence. Yeah, why not? I mean, hey, hey, oh. Super okay with me. Oh my lord. <laughs> okay, but we do have the Obscura Interceptor here. So yeah, the Celestus. That is also a okay with me. And uh, we're just doing nothing here right now. Are we? Freaking are we? No, we're doing nothing here. We're just slamming in there for five now. And if they want to do something... Oh, it turns day. That is a little bit annoying, but not the end of the world annoying. We're just bringing down our Obscura Interceptor here. Yes, yes, because they will try to bring down something here. And then we will get in for a lot, you know. For a freaking lot. Get out of here, my friend. Get freaking out of here. We're getting rid of our uh, hopeful initiado. So, this is eight. Yeah, we got him, baby. We freaking got him. Oh, oh my lord. Freaking exactsies. Freaking. Oh, no. Okay, we didn't get him. <laughs> What have I thought? Why, what was wrong with my math here? What was actually freaking wrong with my math here? So, they uh, can do a meat of mask for three. That would be already pretty darn good. If they have a land here, they can do it for four. I, I don't know what was wrong with my math. I thought, uh, wait, what did I think? This was eight. They were on what? Oh, I, I don't know, man. I just, just leave me alone. You know it is hot in here. It is hot. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone, alone, man. Leave me alone. It is hot in here. I think that our opponent just left. He couldn't bear it anymore. He just couldn't freaking take it anymore. You know, my sheer power, 
My sheer freaking power. Oh, I. Sorry for everyone that's wearing headphones. My sheer freaking power was just too much for me. Yeah, I'm just acting like nothing happened. Oh, Charlie! Did I bite your finger? Did I now just bite your finger? You're so sad, aren't you, Charlie? Aren't you? I mean, hey, if they're doing the rope a dope, that is absolutely fine with me. Go ahead, do the rope a dope. I should really just keep this as far away from my microphone as possible. I just slapped it again. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. You know what really fits your theme? Your sleeves and your avatar? A little slappity slap by my own. Oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Ain't that sad, Charlie. Ain't it sad. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I even do this, man? Just to get in for some more power? Yes! Yes, I did! Was it worth it? One thousand! And a trillion bajillion percent! Oh, Charlie! What are you even doing, Charlie? Did I really just bite off your finger and now you cannot use your mouse anymore? I hope you liked my musical number. I did. I did. Oh, you can tell I'm in a good mood today. Why? Because I played the Golgari deck before this one. Now I'm playing this deck. And it's just everything about this whole freaking day. It's just so darn delicious. Just so darn freaking delicious. Anyone I would just attack it though. Like there's literally no reason not to do it. Me. You know? And I can still do this now. Just get in there for a little bit more damage. Bam, bam. Show them how we bam. Freaking bam, man. Freaking bam. Get out of here, Charlie. Get out of here. Are we just going for the O? And we didn't even play for like 30 minutes? I think we are. Oh, oh, Charlie. Get freaking out of here. So what is worth? Missing lethal or thinking that you have lethal? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. They're both equal. What is this hand? I do not like it at all. I do like this hand though. So I think that we all oh, know I thought it was a Thalia. I am so bad at the game. All right, we're up against Mono White going first. I do not like that at all. I thought it was a Thalia. I knew this would happen one day. Oh, there it is, there Thalia. Okay, well ain't that Peach Dory. And like, what is with, with the Shuffler, man? What is with the Shuffler, man? What? What is actually up with the Shuffler, man? I have no freaking clue. No freaking clue at all. The hopeful initiado. Marathi. So we're bringing down another white source here? Question mark? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Well, your brutal Cathar needs to go. That ain't nothing that I want for my life. Nothing, I tell you. Oh, they found their thing. They found their next land. Ain't it beautiful? It's beautiful in every single way. We go with the Adeline here. Okay. I appreciate that. Not in the slightest. I really don't. We're getting rid of you here. So please, game. Help me out a little bit. Just a little bit, you know? Would be cool. Would be freaking cool if you would help me out just slightly, you know? Just freaking slightly here. Like another land would be pretty darn nice. So that I could play my Wandering Emperor or something like that, you know? Something like that. So are we just freaking dead here? I think we are. Yeah, we are freaking dead. Okay, good game, my friend. Good freaking game. Like, I mean, hey, if we don't find like a black a meat of mask here right away, we're just dead. We're just freaking dead. That is nothing that we can do. Well, that ain't no meat of masker, ain't it now? No, it ain't. No, it freaking ain't no meat of masker. So good game, my friend. I knew that sooner or later something had to happen, you know? And it did happen. It did. We got gotten good. We got gotten good. Get out of here, Mono White. Get out of here. Even if we would have gone first, I don't know if there would have been like a chance. Bolutor, you really are a huge, massive, chunky person. Opponents going first. I do not like that one bit. But hey, what is there supposed to do? You know, what am I supposed to do about it? I hope we find a land here. That would be pretty darn tasty. 
They're mulligany. They're also mono white. We did find a land here. Oh, a meowsing. It really is a meowsing. So I will be going to Talia here. Easiest game of my life. Just, you know, straight up, easiest freaking game of my life. Bolutor. Why do you even show up? I mean, come on, you must have been so close to Mythic. Like, look at this right over here. This is the key to Mythic. And what did you do? You just scooped? Okay. Hey. Oh. Let's go. And hey, easiest game of my life. After I had the hardest game of my life, I deserved Chaos Orb. Oh my. Please don't destroy everything you touch. We're going first. What is this? Grimace? Holy smokes. We even have our one vanishing bird. I think we have two of those. Mono green, eh? Mono freaking green, eh? So let's go with the Luminarch here. Make our things big and strong. Once more, we do have the Vanishing Verse here. If we find one single land, we're super freaking happy, man. Super freaking happy. No blocks. What? Are you mad? I'm not mad. You are mad. Oh my. Okay. I still think that this is the right call. I don't know if we went first. No, we went second, so they are missing land drops, which is extraordinarily good. So we're just slamming in there. The next turn we can bring down the uh, refine, which I think is pretty much refine, indeed. Okay, so what you got here, my friend? What have you got here, my friend? Another Ascendant Pack Leader. And a Werewolf Pack Leader. Okay. I'm going with the Refine here, as I do have two Adelines, I think that is the right call, you know. And we're slamming in there, but they want to double block this, that is kind of fine with me. Alrighty, more freaking righty. Do you want to double block this, my friend? Do you really now? You do! The Mad Lad, okay. Alright, I like this, I have to say. I'm very much into that. Okay, they cannot be attacking in here anymore. Maybe they do have good things now, the old Grove Throne Reno. Alrighty, all freaking righty. So what are we doing here? Bringing down the Adeline, yes, yes, that is what we're doing. Okay, and we're slamming in there, this triggers first. That is really darn good. And we're getting rid of the other Refine and the Sun Gold Sentinel, because I want these lands. I really do. And uh, yeah, you can do that, that is fine by me. Yeah, absolutely fine by me. And we'll get down Maliza next turn, and that is just a meowsing. Yes, it is. So are you getting rid of my Adeline here? It might be a little too uh, late, you know? Just a little mono green. Just a little. Invoke the Ancients. Still not good enough. Still <laughs> not freaking good enough, my friend. Okay, yeah, you can have that one. You can have the one, you know? But only that one. Nothing else. Alrighty, this is getting better and freaking better, if I say so myself. And I do say so myself. So, um... Let me think. I mean, I'm just slamming in with everything. Putting it on a matter of fine. And we're getting rid of the Elite Spellbinder and this and this. Okay. Because the thing is... Even if they do block here, you know, we're just getting it back. <laughs> that is just amazing. Yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. So what you gonna do here, my friend? What you gonna do? You are double blocking it. Crazy. That is just crazy to me. Okay. I mean, hey, I'm all good. I like it. I really do. Because I can just, you know, replay it. Bring down the Vanishing Verse. And that is just so good. Just so good. So slowly but surely, we will be dwindling them down. Unless, of course, they do have the fight spell. Oh, they have a double invoke the ancients. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, nothing to see here. You know, everything is fine. Everything is fine. So, we go with the refine here. It's also refine, you know. We go with the Luminarch Aspirant here, which is also pretty darn good. We'll bring it down onto the Adeline. And we are slamming in there, you know. I mean, if they want to trade, that is fine by me. So you two need to go. But the Brutal Cathar is just amazing here. Just freaking amazing here. 
Oh my, okay, gosh jolly. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this one. Could have also gotten rid of the old growth throw, but I don't want him to have anything here, you know, just nothing. Freaking nothing. So we're going Brutal Cathar and Vanishing Verse next turn. What are they supposed to do about that? Oh, it's a Werewolf Pack Leader. Marauder, Marauder. But the Werewolf Pack Leader does not concern me in the freaking slightest. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh no, it doesn't. So, what is grand freaking scheme here, my friend? What is it? Yeah, exactly. Freaking nothing. Freaking nothing, I tell you. So this is so darn delicious, I have to say, because now we can attack in with our Liza and don't worry about it at all. And they scoop! Oh, Mono Green! The boon of my existence! This is exactly what happens every time that I play Mono Green. I just get over freaking run so good. But hey! Have you? This is also crazy. Have you ever seen a mono green deck not having a fight spell? I know I don't. I know I don't. Get out of here, mono green. Get out of here. So here we are in the make or break situations. Once more, just like yesterday, one pack away from. We're going first. <laughs> what is this, Grimace? Okay, I like it. I really freaking do. Uh, yeah, we're in a make or break situation where we will see if we can get the big old diamond number uno. And having the big old diamond number uno also means that we will be getting one step closer to mythic. And maybe yesterday we will already have reached mythic. Oh, baby. Hopeful initiate action on hopeful initiate action. I like that. I really do. Okay, all we need is one land and we're super fine. If we don't find a land, we're still kind of fine, you know? There is there, Luminarch. Okay. Where are you putting your axe, though? Onto there? Alright, I like it. I have to say, I really do. There is our land now. That is super freaking good. A little late, but still super freaking good. Alright, we are attacking in both, because, you know, training. Good, I like it. I really do. So here comes their elite spellbinder. Oh, the Skyclave Apparition! Alright! Okay, interesting. Freaking interesting. But hey, are you really attacking in here now? Only with this? Well, that's Pichidori, ain't it? <laughs> that is freaking Pichidori, ain't it? So let's make sure that they cannot do too much here for us, you know? Against us. Uh, the Adeline, you freaking need to go. Absolutely, like yesterday. Alright, this is going to be a tough one, though. It's going to be super tough. Like, seriously, super tough. Fleeting spirit, what does this do? I don't know. I don't even want to find out. I don't. Alright, there's a lot of lands here coming down for us now. But the thing is... We can still, you know, uh... Go ahead and just slam in there with our tanks, making this one unblockable. So that is pretty darn okay. I like that a lot. I could also go with both of them, you know? They cannot block both of them. But do I really want to? I do not. I will just take it slow here for now. Just for once, I will chill. I will chill. So this is five, right? Yeah, it is five. So we need one more for this. We do. Well, they found their own Adeline now. But is that enough? I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't freaking know. There's our last land now. Ain't that amazing? The answer is yes, it is. So we will just try to freaking out aggro them. That is what we're doing now. I mean, we're getting in there for six now. And we're getting in there for nine next turn. So I think that we're kind of freaking fine. They need, like, the top deck of the Century. Oh, no, we're not getting in there for a 9 next turn. We're not getting in there for a 9 next turn. We're still freaking close, you know? Still pretty freaking close. Like, what are they supposed to do here? Find a land? Slam in? They cannot attack in with everything, you know? If they attack in with only one more thing, then, uh... I will just win, you know? Oh. 
Oh. Oh, no, you dear. Oh, no, you dear. I bet you're wondering what my other colors are for. I bet you do. <laughs> I bet you freaking do. All right, what are you doing here? Just attacking in like this? That is absolutely fine by me. Yep, sir. Freaking lutely fine by me. Because I can just, you know, block one of those things here. Block uh, the other one here. And that's it. That is all I'm doing. That is all I'm freaking doing. Another land? Oh, come on, game. Seriously. Another land. Okay. I mean, hey, what am I supposed to do about that now? I've drawn a lot of lands. <laughs> I really have to say. There has been a lot of freaking lands. I cannot be attacking in anymore with my elite spellbinder here. I just can't, you know. That is just destructive, man. Just pretty freaking destructive, man. If they do something here, if they would play something, that would be pretty darn cool. Okay. So, I hope we find one more land now. <laughs> I hope we do. So this is what? How much is this? This is, in fact, 13. Let's block here like this, and let's block here like this. And we're kind of fine. So unless we find another land, we are royally screwed. Royally screwed. We will see here. If they're playing something, they are not playing anything. Liza is so freaking nice here. So freaking nice here. Oh my lord. Uh, okay, we have to go full control here. Because this will turn into a 5. I will get the 1. I can activate this now. Holy freaking smokes. Okay, okay. White. Alright. Do we get him? Do we freaking get him? The Liza is just so freaking nice here, man. So freaking nice here, man. Oh my lord, we just block everything. If they don't find a Wandering Emperor here off the top, they just freaking lose everything they have. Everything they have. Like, the thing is, I will block, you know, efficiently. I will, um, uh, block with the Liza, get my, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think that they have any chance here at y'all. Oh my lord, are you mad now, no, you dear? Are you mad now? If you find a freaking brutal Cathar off the top, I will be the one that's mad. Can you imagine that the one of Liza is putting in so much work in the mirror match? Well, it's not even a mirror match, you know? I'm playing black and blue. They're just playing mono freaking white. It's mono freaking white. Is what they're doing. Alrighty. More freaking righty. So, we just have to see how we attack in, how they attack in here. Okay, that is 11. We are going to 11. We're blocking here like this. Oh, wait, we're not. We're blocking here like this. Blocking here like this. We are blocking here like this. Thing is, I still have a flyer. I still have so many flyers. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That is super good, though. That is super freaking good. Amazingly good. Like, I have two flyers here, you know? I have two of them. Freaking two of them. Oh, no. The horror. What, what are you even getting yourself? What are you even getting yourself, man? 
Good freaking game, my friend. Good freaking game. Oh my lord, we're getting the big diamond here. We're getting the big freaking diamond here. That ain't enough. That just ain't enough. Get out of here, Mono White. Malone is in the house. All of you thought you could come in here and try to stop me. But I am the biggest diamond there is. The biggest shining freaking diamond there ever will be. Shine bright like a diamond. Get out of here, Mono White. Get out of here. Oh, baby. We did it. We got into the big diamond, man. The Nico Bolas would be proud of us. So would Angela Merkel because you always did this just like Nico freaking Bolas. Coincidence? Yes, absolutely. So, yeah, thank you all so very freaking much for staying up until the end. We made it. We made it into the big diamond. I never thought that I would even make it into diamond this season because I had so little time. And I took like two days off. I took ten days off. I had to do things. I had my concert and everything. And I'm still here. Almost in freaking mythic. Maybe tomorrow. Well, yesterday. During the live stream. But my tomorrow. You're yesterday. You know all the, the from the past stuff. We will have already done it. I don't know. You don't know. Well, if you've seen this anywhere there during live stream, you do know. But I do not. You know. So yeah. A lot of knowing going on. Even though we are not refined the scheming seer. But hey. I've been yammering way too long now. It is alright. I want to say one more thing to all of these beautiful people on this beautiful list. Every single one of you is so close to my heart. Thank you so very freaking much for supporting me. It means the freaking world to me that there is people out there like you think that I'm worth your freaking support. It really means the world to me. I'm just being me. I'm just having fun playing the game that I love. And all of you, all of you watching, all of you supporting me on this list, all of you are so awesome. So thank you all so very freaking much. And hey, if you want to go the extra mile, you know, you can always check out the Patreon and the membership below every single video. If you don't, it's absolutely fine. It is A-O-freaking-K. The most important thing, though, is that if you wake up tomorrow freaking morning, or in the afternoon, or at night time, hey, I don't sleep shame. Just remember that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.